In this video, we're looking at a mini PC by Uvislite. Not really sure if that's how you say it, but it comes with Windows 11 Pro. It's got an eighth gen Intel Core i5 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes, M.2 SSD storage. This one can be upgraded to 32 gigabytes of RAM. This one's also gonna support M SATA SSD up to one terabyte. This one even has a fingerprint scanner right there on the top of the case. You're also gonna get dual band and Wi-Fi with this one. This one also supports up to three displays, up to 4K 60 Hertz. This one's currently 440 bucks on Amazon. There's also a $530 version that has more storage, but I'll leave links in the description of the video with current pricing and more information. Inside the box, you get a user manual. Pretty typical power supply here. HDMI cable, adapter for the internal SSD upgrade, extra hardware, and you've also got a Visa mount. Okay, pretty much all metal construction here. You can see the fingerprint scanner right there on the top. Looks like you've got some vents there on each side along with the bottom as well. You've got your power button, you've got two USB 3.0, and then two ports that are USB 2.0. You've got a micro SD card slot, you've got a mic and headphone jack, and then you get a reset button as well. On the opposite side, you've got your ethernet port, two more USB 3.0 ports. You've also got a VGA, HDMI, USB-C port, and where you plug in the power. To take the bottom off is pretty easy. You've got four screws, one at each corner, underneath the little rubber feet. As you can see, pretty simple to upgrade this if you wanna to go to the 32 gigabyte RAM and up to one terabyte SSD. Okay, so once you get everything all set up, it's gonna look very similar to any other Windows 11 computer. You can go ahead, set up your fingerprint scanner. It's a really simple, easy process, very similar to on your mobile device. First thing I did was run some Geekbench tests and I got 1,020 single core score, 3,704 multi-core score. It also had a 1,893 3D Mark Firestrike score. You can see the breakdown here of the results. I also did some testing on Steam. Playing Rocket League, it actually did pretty good, staying right at 30 frames per second pretty much the entire time. Overall, it played nice and smooth. Now, is it gonna be the best gaming PC out there? No, but it actually was pretty smooth. Even during 4K 60 frames per second videos on YouTube, everything looked nice and smooth as far as performance goes. I feel like this mini PC actually does really good just comparing it to my other gaming PC. I also have a gaming laptop. I also went ahead, copied over a bunch of video clips that I actually used in this video just to try it out with Adobe Premiere Pro. Again, I was pretty surprised to see how smooth everything ran. It didn't really take that long to copy over all the clips into the timeline either. I don't even think it hesitated much during my testing. So I was surprised to see that as well. Now keep in mind, I usually use 1080p 60 frames per second for my video editing. So it's not gonna be 4K footage that you see here, but still performance wise, I think if you're looking for a mini PC, this is one I think you should definitely check out. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may wanna say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishby Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Uh,